Hello people, welcome to my YouTube channel. All right, so let's see the number of questions that we can uh, revise this evening. I shared that, that uh, I shared on my YouTube channel that we're going to be, we shall be looking at some of the exam questions, okay? I mean, some questions in, paper, in 2022, paper one. So let's see where we can end. Okay. Uh, kindly like the video, share it so that uh, uh, more people can watch what uh, we are doing right here. How are you, Michael? That's Michael. Michael Chalwe. How are you? So let's take it easy. Let me just wait a bit for people to join. Okay. When they join, that's when we we'll start answering this question paper up until we, we reach where we can. I uh, can see quite a number of people are joining now. So please leave a comment, share. That's Chola Katongo. Chola Katongo. Choye. Mr. Mane. Hi. How are you? The Reels. How are you? Joe. Alice. Eric. Carol. Hilda. Hobbit. Christine. Gloria. Mm -hmm. All right, it's good to know that people, you are glued to this YouTube channel. Please, you can share this video, okay? If you have uh, a group that you are in, the WhatsApp group, you can share. I don't mind. On your Facebook page, you can share so that we get more people watching what is happening, okay? Uh, this evening, like I shared earlier on, we shall revise some of the exam questions in 2022, I mean, 2022 paper one, okay? Um, this will help you, okay? Will help you in your exams if you are preparing for GCE. Remember, GCE is uh, just around the corner, okay? And you definitely have to pull up your socks by now. So let's start. The first question here, they are saying evaluate. I guess you're able to see evaluate. We have 5 power 3 times 1 power, uh, power uh, times 1 over 5 power 2. So how do we get to evaluate such kind of a question? Uh, let me just give you a few minutes. You try and solve and see the solution that you get with uh, what I'm going to give you right here. What solution are you getting? Please comment the solution that you're getting so that we can move together. Uh, remember, we, we have uh, slow learners and fast learners. So the fast learners, if you're able to catch it fast, please, we give chance to slow learners so that we all move at the same pace. We don't want to, to let anybody de be disadvantaged, okay? So let's just move together. What solution are we getting? So try to solve this and see the solution that you're getting. What answer? What answer are you getting? Okay, I can see, who is this? I can see uh, Zeli is getting five. Patricia is getting six. Let me wait for two me more people to comment. That's when I'll jump on it. Hello, Frida. That's Frida. Hello. Mulenga is getting six. Who else? Let me wait for one more person. Okay, quite a number of people are getting five. So let me show you. Uh, in mathematics, this is algebra, okay? When you see this, all what you need to know is that down here, there is a one. So you just say times one over five power two. So when you multiply here, three power, uh, five power three times one, that will give us five power three over 1 times z, 5 power 2, that would definitely give us a 5 power 2. Uh, I guess you've gotten the concept now up to here. So here, there are two ways on how you can solve. One of the ways, you can just split this. This is the same as 5 times z, 5 times z, 5 over 5 times 5, like that, okay? How many fives do we have? Three of them. So this and this will cancel. Remember, it's division. This and this will cancel. 
Hence, our answer will just be what? A five. Okay, so if you don't want to do this, you can use the laws of in. We know that when you've got the same base, same base, and you're dividing this base power this, this base power this, you're dividing, you just get the power which is on top minus the power that is down. So it will be three minus two, which is giving us a five power t power one. So five power one is the same as it, a five. That's all. Okay. So I guess you've uh, now gotten the concept right here. Let's go to the next question and see what we get. Remember, <clears throat> all what we're doing this evening, it's not me only. It's not only Mrs. Chamber to solve. Even you to solve. We are discussing. Remember, this is a discussion between you people and uh, Mr. C. Chamba right here. Okay. So the next question is uh, question two. They said expand, expand, and simplify. Simplify. So we have uh, two a minus, or I mean plus three. Okay, inside the brackets. There we have 3a minus 4. So now how do we simplify and expand? How do we simplify and expand? Please, I'm watching your comments. Comment the solution that you're getting so that we see if we are moving at the same pace. What solution are you getting for this one? I'm giving you a few seconds to try and solve and see the solution that you're getting. Good evening. Ethel, how are you? So what solution are you getting out of this? Let me see. I'm giving you a few seconds quickly. Only two people to comment their solutions. Two people. I'm waiting. I can see Simon Wadia is following. So two people to comment their solutions. Quickly comment your solution. We see. Okay, sorry, somebody called me. That's why we went a little bit off. I was called by somebody. So what solution? I can see 6a plus a plus 4. That is... Excuse me, if you are the person that is calling me and you are watching this live broadcast, please don't call. When you see somebody live like this, please don't call. Don't call. I'm repeating this. I'm cutting you. You're busy calling me. Please don't call. I'm live. You can call me after this live broadcast. You don't call when somebody's live like this. Okay. Hopefully this makes sense to you. All right. So regardless of the solutions that you're getting, let's see what we can get here. Remember the brackets, they mean multiplication. You multiply what is here by what is here. So if you don't want to mess up, you start with this. That is 2a, open bracket, 3a, minus 4, close. So 2a, and then you come and put this, like I've put. And then you say plus 3, 3a, minus 4, and close, like that, okay? So... You can see that this is being multiplied by this, which is here. This same thing by this, which is here. So we shall have 2a times 3a, that is 6a minus, uh, that is 8a. Because 2a, oh the problem is that people call. Even if you're alive, they know that you're alive. They still call. Why are you calling? Wait until I finish this live broadcast. That's when you can call me, okay? You will find that people are watching the video, but they want to call. Don't call when you see that somebody's live. How do you expect somebody to talk to you when, you, when they are live like this? Please keep this, okay? Take this serious, not only to my live broadcast, but to anybody's live broadcast. When you see them live like this, don't call. Wait until they finish. That's when you call, okay? So we're multiplying this by this. We're getting this. Oh, there must be a power 2 here. 
we have a and a. So this a and a, it's power 2. 2 times 3, that's 6. 2 times 4, it's 8, and a here. And then this plus 9a minus 12. 3 times negative 4, it's 12. Okay. So from this stage, you group the like terms. Likely, the terms are already arranged. So it's just this and this. We are getting a 9. Negative 8a plus 9a, that's, negative, uh, that's positive a, and a minus 12. Hopefully, this is the answer that you got. Okay? Let me check. Is this the answer that you got? Jacqueline, yes, this is what you found. Precious, I mean, Patricia, yes. Uh, Zia, I've failed to pronounce your name, young um, gentleman. I don't know if you're a man or a woman. Let me just say Zambia, yes, that's your solution. Alice, Sofu, yes. Who else? Uh, Star Movita, yes. Okay, Rachel, almost, you missed a uh, just a bit. Yeah, just like that. Let's go to the next question and see what we can get. This is really important. And on this one, I, 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 I'm, I'm kindly requesting or asking for your full participation. You comment the solutions that you are getting wherever you are. This is very important, okay? It's very, very important. We go to question three, but listen, before we go to question three, please, as you are doing this, remember that we have a promotion in all the subjects. So the number that you need to WhatsApp is right here. When you WhatsApp this number, you get the full information that you need, okay? So when you WhatsApp, you might get some information. When you get that information, all right, so that's the thing. So this is a number that you can WhatsApp if you want to, to join my online classes, okay? Remember, last year we had 100% pass rate. The way we teach, it's the best. If you follow all the online classes, you find that we are the first people to start the online classes in Zambia, okay? We are the first people. So we have developed the way we teach. And remember, we have got quite a number of courses or subjects that we're offering. But as I'm talking to you now, we have a promotion that is going on, okay? You only need to pay a 50 kwacha per subject. Remember, no more charge for each subject. It's a 200 kwacha. Now, why do, you, why do you want to miss this opportunity where you just need to pay a 50 kwacha? Only a 50 kwacha. Once you pay 50 kwacha, we'll add you to the online classes and you start learning with us. Okay. So that's the thing. So now let's go to question, uh, question, uh, question three. Hopefully you are ready and prepared. So here we need to solve. So solve. We have uh, the equation. Solve the equation. Hopefully you are able to see. Solve the equation. Okay, that's an equation over here. We have four. Keep on calling. It's unfortunately people keep on calling. Four x power two is equal to nine x. So how do we solve this equation? So give it a try. I'm waiting for a comment. Please comment the solution. What solution are you getting for this for question three? Oh, look, look, Sinkala. Thank you so much also. Thanks for your teaching because you made me know what I don't know. Thank you so much. I really appreciate what you guys are doing also. I really appreciate your support. Please remember to like the video and also share, okay? Okay, so that's it. Gloria, you're saying you're behind. You can watch the video because this is a a live broadcast, so we are not repeating, so follow all the steps, okay? And uh, I'm, I'm trying to be as uh, slow as I can, okay? Reduce the bases. Uh, we reduce the bases here. Let's see. Uh, please, I've given you a chance to solve. So what solution are you getting? What solution are you getting? Wow, I can see one of the solutions. Remember, this is paper one. 
Okay, I can see uh, x is equal to zero or x is equal to 2.5. Let's hope you are not using a calculator. This is paper one, George Nyerenda. Let's hope you are not using a calculator. I can see Lakshman. So one over four, okay, let's see what you are getting. Two more solutions, we jump on it, two more solutions. Okay, I can see the same person. Let me just get one more solution. Quickly post whatever you have before we solve. What are you getting? What are you getting on this 20, 20? Okay, I can see one over four. Let's jump on it. So the first thing that you must keep into consideration is to check what power is here. This is power two. What kind of an equation are you dealing with? This is a quadratic equation, and you have got a power two. That makes you know that really you are dealing with a quadratic equation. Okay. So now that we've got a quadratic equation, what is the first thing that we need to do or the second thing that we need to do? Put it in standard form. So this is the standard form. Just make everything that is this side cross the equal sign so that you remain with it, a zero to the left hand side. Okay. You remain with a zero, or let me say this before you remain with. I talk about this. There is this 9x. Let it cross the equal sign. It's plus here. When it crosses the equal sign, it will be minus 9x. Okay? So this 9 minus 9x, the next thing, use the ideal factorization. So we have x, open bracket, 4x minus 9 is equal to a zero. Hopefully you can see x outside the brackets. There are two x's here. This power two shows that uh, there are two x's. So one x is out here. You shall remain with a four and one x here. Here there is only one x. When it comes outside the brackets, you remain with a nine. That's all. So what do you do next? I remember when solving the, uh, the quadratic equation, we say this is equal to zero. So it will be x equal to a zero or 4x minus 9 is equal to a zero. So we have found one solution here. x is equal to zero. What about here? We need to finish it up. So we're getting 4x is equal to 9. Divide by 4. We are solving for x. Divide by 4. 4 and 4 will go. You shall remain with x is equal to how many times does 4 go into or goes into, into 9? It's 2 remainder 1 over 4. So this is our solution. And if you leave it like this, you still be marked. No teacher cannot mark your work like this. But it's not better to risk. The best is just to finish. You may know, you may not know how some other markers may be thinking about your solution. So just like that. Let's go to question uh, question uh, four. We are on question three. We go to question four. So for question four, I'm still reminding you before we, we do question four, okay? Before we do question four, please people, <clears throat> take advantage of uh, the promotion, which is only, you're only expected to pay a 50 kwacha. So for more information on the promotion, you can WhatsApp the number. This is the number that you need to WhatsApp. Okay, WhatsApp. WhatsApp. This is how you write WhatsApp. Plus 2609697501. So this promotion is not for, is not there for good, like for, for the war up until you write your exams. This promotion is actually ending tomorrow. So take advantage of this promotion so that you can be learning with everybody that is in our online classes. Remember, we offer online tuitions in, let me just list the, the subjects for you. We have uh, English. We have, uh, that's one. We have uh, Math. Math. We have uh, Science. We have uh, biology, okay, hopefully you're able to see. We have biology, we have uh, 
have civic education. We have uh, RE. We have uh, what else? Commerce. So far, these are the subjects that we are dealing with. So once you contact me on my WhatsApp after this lesson, I'll be able to add you to the online classes. I'll share this with you. Last year, we had 100% pass rate, okay? 100%. Everybody that was in our online classes passed. So we have developed quite a number of strategies on how to help out uh, slow learners and fast learners. We are able to accommodate everybody. So don't be scared that maybe I might fail the exams. Maybe I've not been studying. I was busy with work. Maybe this, this may drop me uh, down. No. Okay. You should not think that way. Okay. You should not think that way. Let's go to question four and see the solution that we're getting. Okay. Okay. So let's see question four. Okay. What's happening with my phone? Okay, let me just guess question four. How was it? How was it? Let me let me see. Let me see. Uh, my phone is locked. It's a uh, under six. We are asked to, sh to shade a intersect b complement intersect c. So how do you shade this one? Okay, how do you shade this one? A intersect b complement intersect c. The first thing that I encourage people to do, come up uh, with this, okay? Come up with a Venn diagram on a rough paper, okay? Like this, okay? On a rough paper, not on the answer sheet. On the rough paper, do that. And then you say, this is your E, A, B, and C. So once you identify that, what is, what is the next thing that you need to do? Put the numbers in these spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? So eight is outside all these circles. So when you put those numbers, try to identify your A. What is my A? My A is one, comma, 2, comma, 4, comma, 5. That is my A. What about my B complement? Because here there's B complement. I've identified my A. Now my B complement. My B complement will definitely be what is outside B, set B. Because set B is right here. And what is outside set B? That's 1, comma, 4, comma, 7, and comma, 8. It's outside set B. Now I'm going to find this. What is A intersect B complement? A intersect B complement, I'm not going to look at this. I'll look at what I have here because A is here and B complement is right here. Now, what is the intersection of this and this? We have one comma a four. One and one is here, four and a four. Remember, intersection means what is found here and here. That is the one and a four. So when we identify that, we go to a C. What is our C? Because here there is a C. C, that is 4, 5, 6, 7. We are almost done. We now identify the entire thing. A, intersect B, complement, intersect C. What are we getting on that one, please, people? Here... A intersect B complement, it's right here. And C is here. So our focus will be on these two sets. And if you can see the intersection, what is found here and here is just a four. These are the steps that you need to do. So you go back to your Venn diagram and check where four is. Where is four? Four is right here. Shared where four is. That's our solution. So look at this. You are working on a rough paper. 
So once you identify this region, now go to the question paper, the answer sheet that they've given you and shade where this four is. The region, just shade the region. Don't put the numbers, these numbers, okay? So that's how we work out this question. It's really very simple. It's very simple, okay? Let's go to question five and see what we can get on question five. Remember, we're on question four. We now go to question five. Question five, they're saying factorize. They've given us uh, this factorize completely. We have uh, two A, B plus X, Y minus two A, Y. Hopefully this is how it is, uh, minus B, X. I hope this is how it is. So they want us to factorize completely. How do you factorize this one? Let me just give you a chance to try and work it out and see the solution that you are getting. What solution are you getting on that one? That's our question five. What solution are you getting? What solution are you getting? I'm, I'm watching your comments. What solution are we getting? Okay, thank you. I can see, uh, sir, I can inbox you. Yeah, thank you. You can inbox me. You are free to inbox me. I have no problem with you inboxing me. But please inbox me after the this live broadcast. I might not respond back to you because if you can see now I'm, I'm live, so responding will be very difficult for me. So you can inbox me after the lesson. I'll be able to, to, to attend to you, okay? Okay, uh, I'm still waiting for your comments. What solution are you getting? Anybody? What solution are you getting? We want to see the solution that you're getting. Okay, that's Mwewa uh, Chpenge. 2x minus x inside the brackets, b minus y inside the brackets. <clears throat> one solution, one more solution before I wake out. Okay, I can see, who is this? I can see Cleopatra Chivesa. Thank you, Cleopatra Chivesa. Okay, Peggy, Cello, sir, I can pay tomorrow. Yes, you can pay tomorrow before 12 hours because uh, the promotion started, I think, probably that was close to 12 hours today. So it's just for a day. So when you, you make that payment on promotion, you will learn for a month on a 50 quarter instead of a normal charge. You remember, a normal charge that we charge is a 200 quarter. Thank you, guys. I can see more solutions are coming. So let me work out and see the answer that I'll get. So here we have two a b plus x y minus two y plus b. So the first thing must be to group the like terms, uh, terms with uh, some like uh, elements, okay? So if you see two a b and x b, they have no common element. So these two must be separated. So we shall write 2AB minus 2Y because there's A here and A here. So these can be together plus XY minus BX. There's X here and X here, so they can be together. So that's what you need to do. The next thing, you group. You factorize by grouping. So we have A outside the brackets, 2B minus actually here, we're supposed to have a two outside because two is here and it's also here. A, actually this is A, not B, this is A. This is A. A and A. So we shall remain with B minus Y. Here we have uh, X is here and here. It can be outside. We have uh, Y minus A, like that. I guess somebody's able to see. So 
You see what is here and here are common. So we get what is in front of the brackets. That is 2a plus x inside the brackets, b minus y, and close. So this is our, our solution, like that. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I think we shall end right here. We shall end right here. So please don't go. Let me just share this with you. Let me just talk a bit about the online tuitions. Look, the online tuitions work very, very well, okay? advantage of the promotion it's only at 50 kwacha you pay 50 kwacha we add remember the normal charge is a 200 kwacha instead of you paying a 200 kwacha take advantage of a 50 kwacha so for you to be part of the class you need to whatsapp this number so that we give you the information that you need to know so when you whatsapp and there is a message that will pop up please ignore that message i'll respond typing there is a message that pops up when you you WhatsApp this number. And to the people that are saying this number is not showing on WhatsApp, please, you can call. Feel free to call. Okay? Feel free to call so that I can tell you what to do next. Sometimes it doesn't show, but it's there on WhatsApp. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. And bye-bye. Please don't forget to like the video if you've enjoyed. So tomorrow, same time, we'll continue from where we've ended up until we finish this paper. Hopefully, you've learned one or two things. Bye-bye.